Hi, it's Mark for Ableton Daily. Humanizing drum patterns in Ableton Live. Sometimes we will quantize our drum patterns and they can sound a little bit robotic. Even if you apply a groove to a drum pattern, we don't always get the result that we're looking for. Well, I have a little tip for you today, and it's called random velocity. In the real world, when a drummer hits a drum, it's always a different velocity or a different volume could be the kick drum, the snare, the hi-hat. It always varies. Live has a built-in plugin. It's actually a MIDI effects plugin. So if you have a pattern that you've created using an impulse sampler or another sampler instrument, you can apply this MIDI plugin to the channel and it'll help you randomize the velocity of the drums. And that way it'll have more of a human feel to the sound. Over here on the live devices, inside the MIDI effects folder, you'll find the plugin called Velocity. I'll just go ahead and click and drag this into the channel that contains my drum pattern, just in front of Impulse. Okay. And I have a little Impulse sampler here. I've just loaded this in with a preset that comes with live vintage funk. And I've just recorded myself a little loop here to practice with. We'll go ahead and listen to this and see how it sounds. Okay, pretty straightforward. I think I only added a 25% quantization onto that loop. But it's just really lacking any life. It just has a very computer-sounding rhythm to it. Well, since we've inserted velocity, this will allow us to randomly control the velocity of the notes inside this pattern. You only need to turn one knob to hear the effect. I'll go ahead and play this back. First I'll turn down random and I'll restart. Okay, here we go. Now it's really easy to overdo it. Sometimes I just add about somewhere around really low, like an 8 or a 9 or 10, just to give it some randomness so it doesn't sound like it's uh, being done with an electronic device or something like that. Now for an extreme case, I'll go ahead and turn up the random all the way. Where we have the MIDI notes placed inside the drum pattern don't always necessarily give it its groove. A lot of the groove comes from velocity of these notes. So just keep that in mind. And you can also play with the range of the random velocity. You also have a compressor and some other adjustments here. I hope you find this helpful. This is Mark for Ableton Daily. Please subscribe if you like the videos and leave me a comment. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.